Hey book nerds, welcome to my channel. So today I am doing recommendations for Horrorathon. So if you don't know, Horrorathon is a readathon that's running from the 25th of October to the 31st. It is run by Lauren from She Is Such Lauren. I will link down the announcement video and all the stuff down below. Um, and it's just basically like a really cool horror themed readathon. And if you check out the Twitter, I think they're doing a lot of like cool challenges and giveaways and that kind of thing. But I really, really love the idea of this readathon, and I really wanted to do a recommendations video, so that's what this is. Um, so I'm going to go through the prompts kind of one by one and recommend some books for them. I've limited myself to three books per prompt, but if you want more recommendations, feel free to ask me in the comments and I will happily give more. Um, for some of them I had loads, for some of them I didn't have as many. And one of the prompts is in itself um, just a recommended read. So any of these books will fulfill that prompt. I'll also suggest some things for that prompt when I get to it. But yes, without any further ado, let's go through the prompts. So the first prompt is Cabin in the Woods. Read a book with a creepy setting. This is the one where I could have literally listed like 54, um, but I have limited it to three. So my first recommendation is Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is a pretty well-known book. It's kind of more of a thriller, um, but it's got strong horror themes throughout. This is about a woman who when she was younger she survived a massacre and she's became known in the press as a final girl which is like the horror trope of the final girl who survives the horror movie there was her and two other final girls who survived different massacres and now in the present day um one of the final girls has died potentially been murdered and then the other final girl seeks out our main character because she thinks it has been like a murder and someone is targeting them and it's kind of the springboard for the story a lot of this book has flashbacks to the massacre which is where the creepy setting comes in it happened in a cabin in the woods <laughs> which makes it perfect for this prompt and there's like a lot of good creepy autumny imagery in this i really, really like reading this book around this time of year i think i've reread it for like the last three years i'm not going to do it this year but I'm very tempted to all the same. But yeah, this is a great uh, pick for this one. On a completely different vein, we have Dreamwoods by Patrick Lacey. This takes place in a theme park. Um, I really like this book. It's also on Kindle Unlimited. Quite a lot of these recommendations are on Kindle Unlimited. Uh, so it might be that you want to get the free trial or you want to just pay for the month and then you can read a bunch of creepy horror books. There's some really, really good ones on Kindle Unlimited actually. It's definitely a bargain around this time of year. But this is about a man who has like fond memories of this park called Dreamwoods when he was younger and then he's an adult man now and his marriage is kind of falling apart he doesn't really connect to his kids anymore and he's just like driving along one day and he sees a billboard for the theme park that he went to as a kid and he goes there with his family and it becomes pretty apparent that something really weird is going on and there's kind of like horror elements there's some really great characterization in this I was really struck by how connected I felt to all the characters which doesn't always happen in horror and there's a lot of creepy stuff surrounding the theme park so this is a really enjoyable book and one that's perhaps lesser known than some of the others on this list. And my final recommendation for the Cabin in the Woods prompt is The Haunted Forest Tour by James A. Moore and Jeff Strand. This is also on Kindle Unlimited or at least it was when I read it and this is about um there's like a forest where monsters live like actual loads of creepy stuff and it's kind of like a theme park as well, I guess, but they go on um, more like a safari. They go on car journeys through into this creepy haunted forest full of monsters. And then it's Halloween, it's a very special tour. I think it's like the first ever tour. And they go into this forest and the tour bus breaks down and all the monsters have access to them. This is just a whole lot of fun. It's very fast paced, it's very short read, which makes it perfect for readathons. And it's just got so much creepy Halloween goodness um, and because it takes place on Halloween as well it just amps up so I think this is really really suited for horror-a-thon and will definitely get you in the Halloween mood. So the next prompt is the one that goes upstairs and this is to read a book by a POC author. This is sadly I've only got two prompts for this and I feel really bad about that I realise that I, I, I know a lot of diverse horror books and I've got a lot on my TBR but I've not actually read a whole lot of them so it's clearly something I need to tackle um, but I have read two of them so I've got two recommendations for you I have The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones I read this really recently um, so I gave it quite a detailed review but basically 
This is about a group of Native Americans slash Indians. I'm going to call them Indians because that's what the title calls them. Um, and that's what the book calls them. And this own voices rap, by the way, for this author. Um, and this is about, they go on a hunting trip and end up killing this elk. It's like 10 years later or so. And then this, they start being haunted by like the memory of this elk and weird stuff starts going on. It's very kind of surreal. Um, some really, really great moments in this. I was genuinely like, genuinely my draw dropped when I read parts of this book. Like I was just like, I can't believe that's just happened. That's insane. Um, and I gave this about four stars overall. There's parts that I like less than the other parts, but the parts I do like are really strong. There's no animal cruelty in this in like at least not by human hands but there are some like animal deaths so obviously that's a big topic in this book um if you need any other trigger warnings for this or any other books by the way just ask me in the comments and i'll happily do my best to find out for you but yeah it's a really great read i really enjoyed it and i think it's quite popular at the moment because it kind of just came out and a lot of people seem to be talking about it as they should be because it's great and my other recommendation for this prompt is Circu berserk by jessica guess Jessica Guess actually has loads and loads of books, and I really want to read the other ones after reading this. Um, I'm not sure if this one is specifically on Kindle Unlimited, but a lot of hers are. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out one of her books, and I will probably be reading some of the other ones by her, maybe during this month, if I have space in my TBR. But Circuit Berserk is basically about a group of teenagers who go to this creepy carnival you can sense the theme that i love creepy carnivals here and um they go and there was a massacre at this carnival ages ago that's kind of all i can say about the plot i'm not really selling it to you but trust me it's really good it does <laughs> diverge a bit from the horror themes um is this like a subplot in here it's kind of got a strong romance subplot but it does it really well i was really impressed by the writing and i really liked where it went so I definitely think it's worth checking out and it's it's also just like a nice short read as well um and I definitely recommend it oh I forgot I actually do have three recommendations for this um so my third recommendation is A Banquet for Hungry Ghosts by Ying Chang Kompenstein I may have pronounced that wrong apologies if I have this is fantastic um I think this was on Kindle Unlimited I don't know if it still is but I'm pretty sure that's how I read it you do need like an iPad or something, you can't put this on your Kindle, which is very sad, but it is 100% worth it. This is really great, so this is a whole group of uh, Chinese stories based around like this banquet menu. So it will introduce a food and then there's like a short story relating to that food and it's like a ghost story and it's really fascinating. It's got a whole lot of um, Chinese culture and mythology I wasn't aware of, some really spooky stories. I love the illustrations, I love the presentation. This is really really great and again a lovely short read for a readathon so yeah i haven't heard many people talk about this but i really really enjoyed it and i recommend it definitely so the next prompt is the one who dies first and this is for children's horror again i could literally recommend like 50 billion books for this because young adult horror is my favorite kind um uh, i've stuck to three so i have hashtag murder trending by gretchen mcneil this is one of my favourite horror books that no one ever talks about. It's really, really weird. It's basically about a world where um, if you get accused or if you get convicted of a crime, you get sent to live on this island that's like a reality TV show. And at some point while you have your life on this island, you will wake up in a themed serial killer trap. So there's like, I think there's seven serial killers. Um, and your death is just broadcast and they all have really weird themes. There's like one, it's like Prince Slicer and he'll dress you up like some kind of Disney princess and put you in a killer maze. There's one that's like a craftswoman who like might turn you into a giant candle. <laughs> it's really bizarre, really unique tone and I love it so much. Um, so I definitely recommend this book because I'm obsessed with it and I want more people to read it. The next recommendation take with a pinch of salt because this has terrible goodreads reviews and it might just be my love of young adult horror speaking but it is campfire by sean sells so this book is about a group of people who are like on a camping trip and a scary story gets told about um i think it's like a 
some kind of entity that like carves antlers into the head of the victims and they go to sleep and when they wake up they find that one of them has been murdered and has antlers like carved into the head like the scary story this was just fantastic like i i understand the bad reviews but it's i don't know what people were expecting when they picked this book up because it's just clear campy over the top cheesy dramatic young adult horror it's everything i want from my young adult horror and it does get trashed on goodreads but if you like kind of like point horror or sort of i guess cliched horror stories but like the really good kind of cliches like everything's by the numbers but it's still kind of enjoyable and the characters are all a bit weird and over the top but it's kind of like you just buy into that horror world then this is definitely a good recommendation and i genuinely really enjoyed it i think i gave it like four stars and most people give it like two so if it sounds like that's the kind of horror you like then pick it up if not, then fair dues each to their own. My final children's horror recommendation is any of the Goosebumps books. Um, in particular, I've selected One Day at Horrorland here because it's my favourite one, but goosebumps Athon is also taking place in October. Goosebumps books are insanely short. They're pretty easy to pick up. Um, I wanted to suggest some point horror books here, but they're harder to find, so I've gone for Goosebumps because they're pretty accessible. They're a whole lot of fun, they're like maybe a hundred pages, <laughs> obviously they're aimed at very very young children, but again if you enjoy the kind of campy over the top horror then the Goosebumps series is perfect and they're really easy to kind of squeeze into readathons because of their short format. So the next prompt is the one who suggests they split up, which is the recommended one. Um, I'm not going to recommend specific books because any of the, the books from this video count, but I am going to suggest specific authors. So I'm going to suggest Christina Henry, because her stuff's amazing. It's all around like 200 to 250 pages as well, so they're super short. Lost Boy in particular is my favourite one, but any of her books pretty much count as horror, and they're all really great. She's like one of my favourite horror authors for sure. The other one I'm going to recommend is Darcy Coates, because she's on Kindle Unlimited. She's fantastic. She's not very well known, um, and I really like her style. She kind of does sort of like young adult horror for a slightly older age so it's got a lot of the stuff from young adult horror that i enjoy but ramped up and i would particularly suggest small horrors by her which is a set of really really short short stories like one or two pages and they're fantastic it's really the best showcase of her style i think and her talent and that's definitely on kindle unlimited so those are my recommendations for that one and the final uh, prompt is the one who was the killer all along, which is a graphic novel or manga. I actually only have two recommendations for this. Um, I've got a couple that I haven't read to read, but the ones that I have read. First one is Mooncakes um, by these lovely people. And Mooncakes is not really horror, but it's about witches and werewolves and kind of spooky stuff. It's a really cute read. It's really quick fast I loved the story it's very charming um and this might be a nice break <laughs> if you don't want to read like pure horror for the whole horror thing it's got a lot of like nice Halloween themes and imagery without it being actual horror um so I thought I'd suggest this as kind of like a cute counterpoint to the other books I've suggested and then we have Survivors Club which I read last Halloween um this is pretty good graphic novel about a group of people who all survive various like horror things like if you imagine a whole bunch of horror movies with different plots wildly different genres and then all the survivors of the, those movies like got together and then something starts targeting them i don't remember a whole lot about the plot beyond that but i really liked like there's some genuinely really creepy stuff this is quite violent there's like a lot of blood and kind of that sort of thing um some nudity i think maybe or maybe suggest the suggestion of nudity so be aware of that but i really enjoyed it it's a really cool concept um i don't think the execution was as cool as the concept but i loved it and it was a whole lot of fun as well really good for like the spooky time of year those are my recommendations for horrorathon my tbr will be coming soon so you can also watch that for stuff i've not read but will also fit the prompts uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're taking part in Horrorathon. If you are, let me know because I love having like people to talk to during a readathon and maybe we can like compare books that we've read. If you've got any recommendation videos as well yourself, please do link them down below because I would love to watch them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out massively and I hope to see you next time.